Hello Flutter developers, welcome to my channel about Flutter. In today's video, we will see a new feature that has been released in Flutter 1.9. It's called Colored Filter. So this is the release page of Flutter 1.9 features. And here, there's a color filter that's been released recently, it's a widget. And it's here in this repo. So what happens if you change uh, the colors, um, if, if you change these plant properties, they mix color differently. So it's a filter that we put on our uh, colors or, or, or our app. So in this, for this video, I have created this sample app about as a little flashcard type looking quiz, uh, card looking type app. And it asks a simple question uh, in a fresh, uh, in a quiz style question. If it's a tomato, is a fruit or vegetable? And if you select the right answer or wrong answer, it says it shows in a, this little colored widget right here. And also it, it tells you why it's not right or uh, why it is the right answer. So I've, I will uh, break this uh, whole uh, video in two parts. Uh, first part I will discuss about how, how I designed this particular app or how to run this sample code. In the next part of this video, I will show you how I implemented this particular red color theming here using the color filter uh, widget released in Flutter 1.9. Okay, so let's get started. So as usual, my this whole project is in, inside the Flutter widgets. Uh, Flutter cookbook on my github. Uh, I put the links below this video and this is a self-contained uh, example. What does it mean is it's a file. It's a whole repo which has a different uh, code example as well. But however, you can run this example just by this file. So it's under uh, under this uh, directory quizy and it has two files. One is the quizy underscore demo dot dot which is an entry point and another is quizy pay, uh, underscore page where the mostly logic of this app is uh, resides. So uh, to be able to run this code, uh, what you can do is you can go in here, right here, you can add it to your configuration and you, you can pick your uh, the file which has the run method right here from right here. So in here I have quizy dot and I do it and okay. And I can run it on my as device of my choice and again in flutter 1.9 you can deploy your uh, run your app on your chrome or any devices that you want uh, which is like android iphone and the web uh, chrome in this case uh, so in, in this particular video i'm showing you ios and maybe later parts of the uh, video i will show you, uh, you to run the same code on android and chrome as well okay uh, so uh, let's see uh, to see the structure of this app we can open the file inspector is right here so i will try to open it side by side so that we can see the comparison what's happening with the code and the ui and i would love to know what you think about the design of this quiz card app and say font size uh, the alignment and the layout what do you think and how we can improve uh, it's like a little quiz for you guys and let's have the discussion started about the design here like how can we do it better in this uh, particular design of this quiz card all right so as i said it's a quizy uh, underscore demo so here it's a main uh, function and run app quizy demo and it's a stateful widget and what it has is material app and I've, I have put the debug show checker mode banner, like it's a little banner that it shows saying debug as false because it's kind of a little distracting. Uh, and a home is a quiz page. So this is where our real all code uh, stays. So let's cut it a little bigger now. All right, so this is my code right here. And to understand this code easily, the, the way I, uh, try to learn a someone else code is I first run it against the Flutter inspector. So the, these are two things, Flutter inspector and Flutter outline, which looks pretty similar, but there's a difference in between these two. So if you select the Flutter inspector 
and if you click this little button right here you can have the grid um, like you see as this type of grid right here like where each widget is aligned you can see this little grid over uh, laid on this UI uh, and also there's one more thing in Flutter inspe inspector which is interesting if you go on more in actions and you click on here you can open the dev tools right here which will open a uh, Chrome window and it's more like a support a enabled support to the Chrome tools from our Android Studio for Flutter apps. However, in outline, it shows you the code outline much uh, in much details. And the one feature that I really like about this Flutter outline is, uh, so for example, if I have to make a widget out of this list view or this list style, I can extract, like I can do these things, uh, like center, centering the widget, add padding, or extracting this widget into a different widget and such things from right from here rather like going here and trying to messing uh, in the code around by just by myself. All right, so I just found this two things might be useful in Flutter development. So right now we are uh, checking out the Flutter inspector since I want to show you how this uh, screen is laid out. So if you see scaffold is the one which is like just as a first white screen, there's nothing in there. And as you see, these things, there are like some elements. There's an image here of the uh, tomato. And there's a question right here. And you see, it's like a little uh, area where I give answer and where the bottom sheet comes out, like the little feedback snack bar kind of thing. So uh, it, it's more very much like a column. It's like a vertical structure. So that's why I used the column on it. So. If I click on it and I say jump to source, it will take me to the source. So that's how you can navigate easily. Now I have a container in it. So what container has it inside? It will have padding just to keep it in content in between in here. So you say from top is 50 just because I have this extra area and from left is 20 and from everywhere is 20, 20. And the child it has is I used column again inside because I want to keep it like a big column which where I can lay down everything and then I break apart this screen I'm oh, sorry this part and the below answer a question part separately in two uh, widgets the first widget this one um, the image and this text I want to put in one column uh, first is the uh, image which is right here so as you see it's a column right here which is this column and it has an image and the text. As you see image, let's jump to source. So this is an image and this is a source. Since this um, page is not very complicated, it like you can see side by side, really jumping to code is not very helpful right now just because this code is very simple and you can just see it um, just in the plain sight. All right, so in the text is tomato is a fruit and a vegetable is right here and this is where you give some properties to it. Now you see there is a little thing, a sized box. So what sized box is? It's a little space right here I gave, about 20. It's a separation between this container and my question and my answer, the answer and the user interaction area right here. So that's why I have size box of 20. And now you see an expanded. So I have used this widget expanded. So widget expanded is useful when you really can't define a height for a particular widget. Like if I give, uh, because screens are variable, some screens are bigger than others. So say 100 uh, a size might be good for some devices, but for some it will be very small. And if I put like 500, it could be very big and could give the uh, error, like it's going out of the bound. So that's why we use expanded. So expanded widget, what it does, it, it makes it like it fills whatever the area is given to it. So that's why we are using expanded widget here. And inside that, we have used the container. So what this container does, uh, so let's move, remove this thing so that I can show you how it's being, uh, how it behaves. So this container has light blue color, ascent color right here. And the border radius, so this little corners, the rounded corners, if, uh, this effect came from this border radius. So we gave a little border radius, which is round, like a top left and right left 
make it them little round and the radius is 20 and 20 right here and we and we just want at the left and the right and once you have this container I want to put a child to this container which is my these options so for options I created let's close this one so for options uh, there are three options really like one is none when nothing is selected at the beginning and then one fruit and one even vegetable and it's a quiz option so I extracted it into a separate widget which is quiz options right here and it's a stateful widget again and what it has is a list pretty much so it's a list of the radio list tiles right here one is the fruit and one is the vegetable so here's a basic styling so you see I have done the letter spacing three so what does it mean it means like it they are not very clumped together so if I put it like say one you will see like they came very closer so if I put three it goes like a little further if I say I put eight for example they will go really far so I three is like you can play around with such attributes uh, depending on your needs of design and the second thing I've used the radio list style here so it takes a couple of these attributes or parameters like title which is right here and the value so value is I use the enum for this one so which is like a string typically but in here is a enum and the group value I may cho chose enum or string is because I didn't want it to go through the uh, type prop issue so that I can reuse my uh, option or selection right here in a variable so group value is something like you can pick only one over another you can't pick both like checkbox so this comes with radio list style this option and on change is a method which actually gets fired when you select uh, one option or another so and this is that's why the set state of which uh, stateful widget uh, comes in uh, helpful so what's happening here when I say on change when I say select my choice my option the selected option goes here and it goes passed through set state which is where so this is implicitly passed this value inside my show answer method so in the show answer what it does is it updates the selection like what's my selection is right now is it a fruit or a vegetable and it shows a show a model bottom sheet so model bottom sheet is the right thing what you are seeing here it looks like snack bar but we are achieving this functionality using the border uh, model bottom sheet there are two type of different uh, type of bottom sheet one is persistent and another is the model so difference is when you uh, persistent like if you click here it will not go away so it will just stick there but while model a bottom sheet when you it comes up and you click somewhere else it goes away so that's the reason we are using the model bottom sheet here and in here when we so what we are doing depending on what selection we made we pick the answer or the explanation for the our choice uh, so uh, for example like if it's a fruit it says you got it um, and uh, you got it and uh, if this is a fruit because it has a seed in it or a vegetable while many people think like tomato is a vegetable but actually it has a seed so actually it's a fruit not a vegetable i picked this definition from internet so you can see um, i just copy pasted this answer so you can see out there in internet as well uh, okay uh, so uh, now comes to the real part of this uh, uh, widget like a colored filter so this is what I was uh, talking about the in the uh, flutter 1.9 release so they release these filters uh, how what it does it so I'm using them in showing them my answers and changing the behavior uh, not behavior sorry the color shade of the background right here so before we see the color filter we uh, so I'm using as a parent to the feed widget so a feed sorry feedback widget so what feedback widget here is it's actually the um, the little text right here that you are seeing here so I have pulled out in a reusable widget which is I'm calling feedback widget it's a very simple widget which has a height of 150 
little decoration um, so decoration you see this is kind of important right here light blue accent uh, so the actual color if I don't put a filter here it's a blue in color this one and it has a little uh, radius like a little rounded corner you can't see it I just felt like it's better this than this rather than making them very round but you can play around with these uh, values and had a little padding so that my text can stay in between and it doesn't get cling to any of these sides so that's why I'm using uh, these padding like 10 10 10 pretty much actually I could have used just 10 oh, yeah, edge only at, but I was just playing around so I kept on changing uh, and one child which is the styled text and you can see my here I here I'm using something one thing more which is called word spacing which is five so that's the gap between the words uh, so that you can play around again with this thing depending on your design but that's something I felt like it might be useful while you're designing your interfaces all right now go back to the color filter like how this works in this case so in here I am using two type of color, two different color filter why because I want to show the green or the red, red base color for incorrect and the correct answer the green for the right answer and for the bread for the wrong answer however I could achieve could have achieved the same functionality using the background color in the container or, or, or right here I could have just gave it a red color probably or I could have toggled it with the uh, if what answer is right or wrong but rather I chose it colored a uh, color filter the reason is in here if I put a one color I have to pick the shade at the exact shade and the blend and then I have to put it here for two colors but in here what it does is it merges the filter color like what the color I'm providing here in my color filter mode depending on the blending type I gave it with the destination color which is light blue accent so in this in the language of color filter this is the source color and this is the destination color because it was already there before and this is the blending type right here so let's see few uh, variations so right now I'm using hue here and it, just as in middle before I show you is right here in here they have very good example here where they have all the blend mode values and they show how you uh, how their effect is for different type of uh, blending mode right here all right so let's see how uh, this things differs in our application so this is right now is hue so i use hue and my this color is green is green ac uh, green accent and i'm using hue and the blue so when it mixes my green mixes with blue it becomes this color while uh, when I mix my red accent color with the hue uh, with the blue uh, with the blending mode of hue it becomes this red colors uh, now let's see what happens if I pick my uh, since we are working on red let's try to make it uh, try another blend mode hard light let's see how this color changes there you go so you can play around with this color like here so but this is not very cool so let's try one more soft light let's see how you see it. there you go so you see how uh, differently they can look depending on the filter we are providing so in here if we have more uh, uh, room for exploration using these filters rather like picking the one shade um, and then hard wiring that shade right here this is this gives us more dynamic way for showing the rendering the colors in our application and in here uh, let's see what happens here soft light in here okay th look this also changed so you can play around with a more pretty much all the blend modes and you can pick what's best for you uh, with the one I found better uh, from in this case uh, is was a hue was better blend mode so I would love to hear from you what color com uh, which different blend mode you uh, uh, experiment experimented with and what you've uh, liked or, or a suggestion like what I haven't tried yet